Hey everybody, John at Freshwater Systems. Today I'd like to talk to you about chloramines. How do you get them out of your water supply and what are chloramines? To talk about chloramines, let's back the clock up and talk about chlorine. Chlorine is the most widely used disinfectant that our nation uses in our water utilities to disinfect water. Chlorine was actually started in 1908 in Jersey City to disinfect the water supply. And immediately there were benefits. Virtually typhoid and dysentery and waterborne diseases were wiped out. And it has been called the most significant health advancement in our lifetime. The problem with chlorine is a couple of things. It dissipates very quickly. So trying to keep a residual of chlorine at the furthest point in the distribution system was a challenge. Another problem that they realized here over the last couple of decades is disinfection by products. And when chlorine is used in a water supply that has organics in it, it creates trihalomethanes which is a carcinogen and it's not good for you. So the EPA has set standards to make sure that the disinfection byproducts are kept at a very low level. In come chloramines. Chloramines is the combination of chlorine and ammonia and it is a very stable compound so it maintains its characteristics long down the distribution system. So the guy in the house on the very end has water that's disinfected. Also, it doesn't react with organics to create disinfection byproducts, trihalomethanes. So it accomplishes two really cool things. But chloramines also have some downsides. Chloramines have a couple of distinct issues. One thing is it creates taste and odor. And nobody likes that in their water supply. Another thing is some people are very sensitive to chloramines. It can cause skin irritation. It can cause problems with your eyes. And those people need to have it filtered out. You don't want to use chlorinated water to refill your aquarium. It'll kill the fish. And you certainly don't want to use water with chloramines in it for dialysis. Another side effect also is it will deteriorate rubber. So if, if you're thinking about O-rings and seals and gaskets, even in your, your faucets and fixtures, chloramines will slowly destroy those seals and it's possible to see leaks occur down the road. Another thing that chloramines create is they're a little more corrosive. And when a utility changes over to chloramines, they have to increase the amount of corrosion control. If they don't, problems occur. In fact, Washington DC had that very issue. When they converted to chloramines, they didn't up the corrosion control and they exposed a lot of their residents to lead. And that's not good. Lead is never good, especially for small children. So how do we get the chloramines out of the water? Well, unlike chlorine, Chloramines are difficult to remove. Chlorine on contact with carbon chemically alters on contact and become a harmless chloride. Chloramines, however, it takes a lot more contact with the carbon to get that to break apart so that the ammonia and the chlorine separate and the chlorine converts. That requires a different type of carbon. So let's talk about carbon. When we use coconut shells for the base of our carbon, we basically burn that woody husky shell that the coconut comes in and create ash and carbon. Well then that gets ground down and it becomes activated. The activation process expands and makes a lot more surface area and that's where carbon gets its abilities is it's got a lot of surface area. I've always have, uh, used the analogy of like a parking lot at the shopping mall. When we first create the carbon, we only have one floor of the parking garage. When we activate it by heat or steam, we actually add three or four more floors to that parking structure. We add so much more surface area. 
Well, that is an effective media for lots of filtration. And the process of adsorption is what gets rid of the taste and odors and what makes carbon so good. Well, when we look at chloramines and, and using a granular activated carbon, the effect is not as good because the stability of that chloramine compound, it takes a long time to break it apart. So we need a carbon that has a enhanced catalytic ability and that is the chemical reaction if you will so any chemical reaction requires a catalyst well the catalytic carbon the surface has been structurally enhanced and altered to create that catalyst to make that chemical reaction occur and it's really good at getting rid of chloramines it's also good at getting rid of hydrogen sulfide but that's a topic for another blog so the best elimination of chloramines happens with catalytic carbon. Does reverse osmosis remove chloramines? Not really. Now if we put a pre-filter in front of the reverse osmosis membrane of catalytic carbon, then we have a great way to remove it. Some reverse osmosis systems have two carbons in front of it, which is going to get us there because of the extra contact time. Now, how do chloramines affect you? and how do you need to get rid of them? Well, most people are gonna to wanna to get rid of them for the whole house or a point of entry type solution. And we offer large tanks full of catalytic carbon to treat all the water coming into the house. That means you don't have to deal with the chloramines in your laundry, more importantly, in your shower and in your bathtub, but also in your kitchen where you're cooking and making drinks and making ice it's great if we can get the chloramines out for that. Now, if you're just concerned with the water you drink and make ice with, a product like this, which is a TL3 ultrafiltration unit, has two big carbon filters in front of the ultrafiltration membrane, and it is certified to reduce chloramines. This is a great product, unlike reverse osmosis, it doesn't require a drain hookup, and it flows at about a gallon per minute and it can give you all kinds of water for ice, for cooking, and for drinking. Well, that's all I've got on chloramines. If you need more information, please contact us or look us up on our website at freshwatersystems.com. Be sure and like this video and subscribe to our channel. Till next time, take care.